Now from News 2, a special presentation, Low Country Hidden History, honoring black history. His works of art have garnered numerous awards and have won international acclaim. World-renowned artist Dr. Leo Twiggs' illustrious career has spanned more than half a century. Cal on 2's Octavia Mitchell has his story. When I want to save a color, what I do is I cover that color with wax. Inspired by picture. memories of growing up in his hometown of St. Stephen, South Carolina, 86-year-old Dr. Leo Twiggs paints original thought-provoking images. I call this royal crown. In here, uh, you see how subtle batiks can be and how soft it can be. He uses a unique style that he developed for use in contemporary art. I use a technique, and that technique is, is batik. Now, batik as a technique is not used to paint pictures. It's used to do scars. I was fascinated with the cracks in the colors. You know, look how different this is, and then you look at, if you look at it, you see the cracks in the colors here. And I thought, what if I try to paint with this? It took me a couple of years to control the medium, and then I continued to paint with it, and there was nothing to look at. There was nothing to read because I was in new territory. I didn't, yeah, I'd simply had to explore. And then... It started happening. Dr. Twiggs graduated from Claflin University. He later studied at the Art Institute of Chicago and received his MA from New York University. He received a Doctor of Arts degree from the University of Georgia, then developed the Fine Arts Department at South Carolina State University. He was also in charge of building the university's museum and planetarium. That put South Carolina State not just on the map. We were probably one of the few, uh, probably the only, historical black college with a museum that was built. Dr. Twiggs also designed the official seals for both SCSU and Claflin. Congressman James Clyburn entered his name into the congressional record. His works hang in museums, galleries, and embassies around the world. As for the work he is most proud of. As far as a series of paintings, I think the Mother Emanuel paintings was perhaps for me the most striking. It's called Requiem for Mother Emanuel, a series of paintings. This movement from the hate to redemption. Recently, Dr. Twiggs was inducted into the South Carolina Hall of Fame, and his hometown held a full day of celebrations in his honor, Dr. Twiggs Day. He gives credit to his family for his lifetime of achievements. I was just thinking, sitting on that stage, that when these kinds of things happen, there's usually a big box out there and you lie down in it. And here I am getting the, the flowers while I'm alive. I mean, that is the real blessing. I am abundantly blessed because I can still smell the flowers. You're not only smelling the flowers, but you're painting them too. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. That's right. That's true. I am painting the flowers too. That's true. Octavia Mitchell, Count on Two.